Hello, my name is Paul Young. Welcome to this video abstract for my paper, Rational Series for Multiple Zeta and Log Gamma Functions, which is to be published in the Journal of Number Theory. Multiple zeta functions were defined and studied by E.W. Barnes around 1900 as n-dimensional analogs of the Hurwitz zeta function. These multiple zeta functions are important in number theory because they carry arithmetic information for algebraic number fields. The multiple zeta function of order n is defined as an n-fold Dirichlet series in the complex variable S, dependent upon a complex parameter A with positive real part. This n-fold Dirichlet series converges for the real part of S greater than n, but it has a meromorphic continuation to the entire complex plane with n poles. In the paper, we give a different kind of series expansion for the multiple zeta functions, where each term of the series is a rational function of s, of the parameter a, and of the order n. The numerators of these rational functions are Bernoulli polynomials of complex argument and complex order. The denominators are linear. Each term of the series accounts for one pole, either of the multiple zeta function or of the gamma function, so that this rational series gives you a kind of polynomial Mittag-Leffler type decomposition of the product gamma times zeta by singular parts at each pole. The proof begins with the Mellon transform in integral formula, in which we make a change of variables that allows the integral to be expanded in terms of Bernoulli polynomials of the second kind with complex argument and complex order. After justifying the convergence and analytic continuation of the series, we then use identities of Carlitz to convert back to the usual Bernoulli polynomials of complex order and argument. The usual Dirichlet series definition of the multiple zeta function converges for the real part of S greater than the order n. And the rate of convergence of this Dirichlet series is entirely driven by the real part of S, and it's essentially independent of the value of the A parameter. In the rational series, this is reversed. The rational series converges for all S, but the rate of convergence is driven entirely by the real part of the A parameter, and is essentially independent of S. In the paper, we give an example involving a Dirichlet L function showing how this phenomenon can be used to accelerate convergence of the series. The partial derivative with respect to S at S equals zero of a multiple zeta function gives you a multiple log gamma function, and it is an analytic function of the A parameter for the real part of A greater than zero. As a corollary to the rational series, we give series expansion for the multiple log gamma functions in terms of higher order Bernoulli polynomials. And as illustrations of all of these results, the paper contains several examples where we give expansions of special values of these transcendental functions in terms of higher order Bernoulli polynomials, involving many constants of number theoretic interest, such as powers of pi and the euler mascheroni constant. Well, that's a quick introduction to the paper. I hope you're motivated to read it. Cheers!